Do you, like many of my patients, suffer from a pain between the shoulder blades? Well, if the answer to this question is yes, then stick around because I'm going to show you and demonstrate some really quick and effective exercises you can do at home which will help you to get rid of that pain between them shoulder blades. Let's get started. So this first exercise I'm going to demonstrate to you for more mobility between the shoulder blades is a variant on the classic cat camel exercise. I'm sure you're familiar with the cat camel where you sit in all fours and all you do is you arch your back as a cat and you put it up like a camel. Now this exercise is more targeted to the thoracic spine, so the area between your shoulder blades. And what you need to do is you need to sit on your heels and sitting on your heels effectively takes out the movement in your lower back. So sit on your heels. Then support yourself on your elbows, and all you do now is you create a camel by pushing through your shoulder blades, and you do a cat by really pushing your chest down and your head up, put your chin up, and the same thing. So you push now through your shoulder blades, and you arch your back like a cat and put your head up. And you do this about 10 times, and you repeat this three times. So this is a adaptation of the, the classic Cat camel exercise that we're all familiar with and very, very, very effective for creating mobility and therefore less pain for the area between your shoulder blades. So this next exercise is one of my favorites. It's called Thread the Needle and it helps to get some more mobility between the shoulder blades and dec thereby decreasing the pain. Now what you do need is you need either a foam roller or a, a ball. Uh, I, will, I will demonstrate the exercise with both these attributes. Um, you need to make sure that you still sit on your, uh, on your heels as much as you can, because sitting on your heels takes out mobility of the lower back and helps you to focus more on the area between your shoulder blades. So I have a foam roller here, placing my left hand in front of the foam roller, the back of my right hand goes on top, and all I'm going to, all I'm going to do now is really slide my hand, you threading the needle, sliding it forward, hold this for about five seconds, and come back again, and the same thing. Hold for about five seconds, and come back again. You need to do about 10 repetitions, Hold each repetition for about five seconds and do about three sets daily. Now you can also, as I said before, use a, a ball for this exercise. So using this ball here, same thing, hand on top and then sliding my hand and that way hold for five seconds and then come back again. Slide, you really feel this between your shoulder blades and come back again. Now the reason why you need to add either a ball or a foam roller is you add to need a bit of height for your hand because if you don't and you slide the hand over the floor you're focusing more on your lower back and not so much on the area between your shoulder blades. So get yourself a ball or a foam roller and really roll forward and you thread the needle. Great exercise to create some mobility between the shoulder blades. So this next exercise, again, is a very powerful exercise to creating mobility between the shoulder blades. And it's called the prone thoracic extension. And what you need to do is lay on your front. And whilst I'm laying on my front, I'm making sure that I'm pushing my hips and my lower back into the ground. So I'm fixating them. I'm interlocking the fingers behind my head. I've got a little towel here to rest my forehead on. Interlocking here. And all I'm doing whilst I'm pressing my uh, hips and my lower back into uh, the floor, tuck my chin in, interlock my fingers, and I'm coming up. And I'm also at the same time what I'm doing, I'm pushing my elbows back. So I'm holding this for about 10 seconds, and I'm coming down again. And the same thing, you come up, you can do five seconds as well, you can hold it for five seconds, repeat 10 times, and do three, three sets, and come down again. And you can really feel this between your shoulder blades, but make sure you push your hips and your lower back into the ground. So this next exercise, again, a very powerful exercise, creating mobility between the shoulder blades, and it's called the Towel Assisted Prone Extension. And I mean, the name gives it away a bit, you need a towel for this. And what you do is same as what we did before, you go and lay prone, huh? so tummy down. Now really make sure that you push your, uh, your hips and your lower back into the ground again, so you anchor your lower back essentially. You hold on to the edge of the, uh, the end of the towel with your hands, and then anchoring your lower back, you're pushing against the towel, you hinge over the towel effectively. So you start off lower, lower, lower down, and then you put your towel up a little bit, and the same thing, and you hinge over this towel, and you hold this for about, again, ten second, uh, five seconds, repeat 10 times, do three sets. A super, super powerful exercise to creating a little bit more mobility between the shoulder blades. So the exercises I've demonstrated to you so far are great exercises, 
but maybe not very practical to do them at work. And you can't really bring a towel or foam roller to you at work and do those exercises. So your colleagues might look a bit funnily when they see you doing it. So I'm also going to give you two exercises you can do on your uh, office chair, your office chair, and something you can do throughout the day as well to help you getting rid of that pain and stiffness between your shoulder blades. First exercise, really simple, sit on your chair, um, make sure that your legs are on the outside of your chair and you anchor your legs. And by anchoring your legs on the outside of your chair, you're making sure that you are not moving your lower back. Yeah? So you, you anchor your lower back as well. And all you do now is grab hold of your elbows, anchor your lower back by placing your legs on the outside of the chair. And all you do now is you turn as far as you can to the left, hold this for about five seconds, repeat about 10 times, do three sets, and obviously you go to the other side as well. And all this movement now, targets the area between your shoulder blades because you've anchored your lower back. You can really feel that pulling between your shoulder blades. This is something you can do throughout the day at work. So this last exercise, an absolute favorite of mine, is the YWTL exercise. And what you need to do is you create a Y with your arms first, yeah, and you really pull your arms back as far as you can. Hold this for about five seconds, and from the Y, you go to a W, you can see now making a W, but you're really pulling your elbows back as far as you can. Hold this again for about five seconds. And from a W, you go to a T, hands facing forward, you go to a T, and now pushing my, my arms back as far as I can. Hold this again for five seconds. And then you create an L, I'm creating two L's left and right here. And again, make sure the elbows are tucked into my side. Don't let the elbows come out, make sure you tuck into the side and you move your arms, your forearms, as far outwards as you can. Again, hold for five seconds. And this is a great exercise you can do when you are moving from your desk to the kitchen or to uh, another bit of the workplace, and you want to create some mobility between your shoulder blades whilst you're on the move. So YWTL is something you can do throughout the day as well. So here you are, some of my favorite exercises to get rid of some pain and stiffness between the shoulder blades. I hope you found value in this video. If you did, please don't hesitate and comment, uh, like the video, or subscribe to my channel. Uh, it's really motivating if I get some comments and get some likes on the video, and I really appreciate if you, if you do this. Uh, so that's me for now. Uh, I would, I'd like to say, take care of yourself, take care of someone else as well, if you can. Good luck with the exercises, and bye for now. Bye-bye.